Good morning, I'm the Jazz and welcome back to another TF2 face cam commentary. So as you can see I've got a full round on upward here for you as the pyro. Um, but before I get into it I just want to take a quick moment and say a big thank you to my 23 subscribers at the time of this video. Um, I just want to say a massive thanks to you guys. I really appreciate all the support and the kind words that you've been giving me. It's definitely making it a lot easier to make these videos. So thank you so much guys. So jumping straight into the gameplay here, uh, take out that spy who was undisguised running at me. Wasn't sure what hit was going on there. But I do miss two easy flares on this scout and then somehow hit the third flare which is a lot harder. But I'm just kind of, as you can see, lurking around, just kind of creeping around in this underground area right now as, uh, as the pyro. It's a lot easier to ambush people, a lot easier to get up in their grills and just do that insane burst damage that uh, the pyro is infamous for. And just kind of floating around up top, I'm going to push forward a bit and see what I can do since their team is just giving me this room to move forward. And what even happened right there? Like what just, somehow I managed to kill them both? Uh, I don't know. Classic pyro class, I don't know, I pressed M2, managed to kill them both with his own rocket, so that was fantastic. Uh, extinguishing that demo there, I extinguish a lot of teammates in this, like a lot. But anyway, so I catch this spy right here, and he does the most obvious thing and just holds W and tries to get behind the team, so of course I was going to find you spy, come on! Lift your game next time and don't do the most obvious thing, please. And also, you'll see that I'm using the power jack in this gameplay. I love the power jack, such a big fan. Uh, I really believe that you can get the same result with the degrease of flare gun combo that you that you can with the extinguisher. 90% uh, of the time, I really believe that. So, of course, I'm going to use the power jack. I just love the speed boost. I really think it. It freshens up Pyro, it makes Pyro so much more fun to play for me, and uh, you just get so many good flanking opportunities as well. So yeah, hence why I'm using the Power Jack. Catching that Pyro off guard there. So I know that uh, Heavy Medic combo is going to be underneath the point here, so I'm going to flank and see what I can do. And I missed the easiest shot ever on that Medic, and then I hit the second shot, because I was saying to myself, I need to hit this Flare Gun shot. And I think because I was putting that pressure on myself, of course I was going to miss it. So that was unfortunate, but I do kill him in the end. Somehow managed to kill the soldier and the heavy on the card right there. No idea how that happened. There's the 15k, so I'm doing quite a bit of work in this life. And I just have to commit to the card here, because I really want to defend this point. And there was my team. Like, please, that whole 30 seconds, there was just not a single teammate around. Like, come on guys, what are you doing? Some support would be nice. Anyway, take all the spam in the world right there, and I go for this health pack, and look at the scout, not even facing me. Wow, of course he just instantly kills me, but that is just uh, classic TF2. Nothing is ever as it appears. If there's anything I've learnt in my two and a half thousand hours of playing this game. So I saved this heavy once right here, but he is just infinitely committed, as you're going to see. Just will not back down no matter what. So I just feel like he wasn't quite sure that once you start shooting, you can actually stop shooting and stop committing to a situation. I don't know, maybe he just couldn't be bothered to stop shooting. But something about the heavy class, when you press comma 5 and you go heavy, I don't know, it just changes the way you play. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm just I'm playing really aggressive here, pushing the front lines as much as I can. But every time I round that corner for some reason, there's just a pyro body blocking me and absorbing all of my fire damage. As you'll see every time I go around this corner. Except for this time. So here's the engineer. He puts down the mini sentry, which is annoying. But I do manage to hit the medic with a nice flare right there. So I'm going to come back down. And here he is, waiting for the health pack. And of course, I kill him as the health pack spawns. That is just the law of TF2 right there. Like, why would the health pack spawn any other time than when I just killed him? So, I push this heavy here, and I want to air blast him off the edge so bad. But, of course, my bad. I forgot that heavies are such fat bastards 
and he was just never going off that edge. I was, what was I thinking, trying to air blast a heavy? Damn it. So that was my bad. Harassing the spy right here until I get him, getting blocked by another pyro around that corner. And this medic that's running around that you just saw with his needles, you're going to see right here, he... I don't know what was going on with him, but look, here he is right here. He stops moving, but he's not AFK because he's still healing and he still, he still turns. I save him twice, he turns around, and he's just still standing still. Like, what are you doing, medic? Like, what is going on? Damn it. Save the engineer's life right here, by the way. He doesn't even know. He has no idea what just happened. I just saved your life, buddy. You are welcome. But, damn that medic, what was he doing? <laughs> so anyway, the whole team is right there. What is happening? Uh, I get body blocked again by a pyro. We're coming back onto the card here, so I'm just trying to cause as much chaos as possible and stop them from capping that thing. And I extinguish my medic here. Now, pyros, please, press M2 to extinguish a burning teammate. It even says on the TF2 help screen. It's like, press M2 to extinguish a burning teammate. It's so basic, and yet 90% of pyros don't do it. I've noticed. So, come on, pyros. You can do it. Just press M2. <laughs> I believe in you. Anyway, so coming back onto the card here, they're kind of swarming, so I'm just going to push forward, go for this medic and this uh, soldier here, hit him with a crit flare, but it doesn't matter. I go down, and unfortunately, they push the card to victory and death. So that is it for this commentary, guys. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you, and I hope to see you next time.